Hey, what's going on everyone? Thanks for clicking on Trucker 219. Today we're taking a look at some more truck accidents and breaking them down to see if we can learn something from other people's mistakes so we don't make them ourselves. All right, let's go. All right, so we're going over a bridge. Not really much room for an out when traffic's coming to a stop. Stop, stop. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, good Lord. Oh, that poor car is dead. There's there's almost no way that that's survivable. Getting pinned between two trucks like that is absolutely brutal. Oh my gosh. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my goodness gracious. Good Lord. What video did I click on today? Oh my gosh, a driver's side T-bone like that, another very rough one. Hopefully that one was going at a slow enough speed that they were able to survive it, but man, oh man, what an impact. All right, we got traffic slowing down. You can see that very clearly. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Oh my goodness. And this car was doing what anybody would do. This car was trying to find a way to get a little bit further on down the road. They go to the empty lane. That's just what people do. But this truck driver was hauling absolute donkey and going down the road. Um, you see traffic coming to a stop. Slow it down. But he waited to the last second, didn't slow down, tried to merge over. And unfortunately, this car was merging over at the same time. Oh, my goodness. All right. Slow traffic. Looks like everybody's going slow here, except for this truck. Oh my goodness, guys. Like, you were going slow enough you could have hit your brakes and it would have been fine. Okay, we got a two-lane country road. Some grain silos. Stop car. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh my gosh. Oh, good lord. Oh, man. Another one that's probably most likely fatal. What is going on here? <sighs> whoever whoever was in this dash cam vehicle deserved everything that he got. Let's take that one back so we can e examine why. First off, right here. What does this two, two solid yellow line mean? Anybody in the comments? Yeah, you're correct. That means do not pass. And why shouldn't you pass? Hmm. Maybe there's a road here that people are going to be turning on. Obviously, this car doesn't have his turn signal on, at least not from what I could tell. But nevertheless, why are you trying to pass him? Just slow down. This one's ticking me off today. And a telephone pole. Now, everybody on this block is without power. All because you were in too much of a hurry. All right, so we got a two-lane road. Looks like this car has stopped. Oh my gosh, the slug bug slugged. Oh my goodness. That's going to be a rough one to survive too, just from the, the sudden impact. Okay, why are you driving down the middle of the lane? That's my first question. This truck merged over. Okay. I can't tell if this... Uh, I can't tell if this truck has his turn signal on and realistically, I mean, he might need to turn a little bit wider. It looks like it's a loop back, but, uh, yeah, he, he had to turn wide to make his turn. Oh my gosh. An asphalt truck too. Well, looks like there might be a road on the shoulder. Okay. We're going down like a three lane road. Driver's side. There's no reason why you can't see that car there. Obviously, you're in a hurry and things are slowing down, so you feel like you need to pass them. Fine, but pay attention when you're passing. It's pretty simple. Okay, four-way stop. Oh. Looks like they got there at about the same time, but straight has the right-of-way. So this car's there. This car gets there next. But he's turning right, so it's not a big deal if he goes. Straight has the right of way. Yeah, they just got into each other. Little fender bender, not the end of the world, but luckily, uh, yeah. 
Okay, merging over, not enough room to. Got into the back of it. Again, we have another situation here where this truck doesn't have a hood mirror. Um, so he has a little bit of a justification of the blind side on this side just because there is a blind spot right there in front of that tire if they don't have a hood mirror. All right, no U-turn signs. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't understand why these roads would be laid out like this to start with. But nevertheless, he should have come up here, merged on, come up to a business like this and turned around. All right, we got a pitch black night, drifting, 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 falling asleep, into the snow he goes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, do yourself a favor. If you are feeling yourself getting tired and you know the feeling, you know, your eyes start drooping, find somewhere to pull off, a rest area, a shoulder, a gas station, whatever. Lean back your chair and take a nap. Or if you're a trucker, go to your bed. All right, another night drive. It's really dark out. Oh my goodness. I can't even tell what happened there. Either it got slick or something. Looks like he just completely lost control out of nowhere. That was weird. All right, so we got flashing lights here, which means that uh, some sort of maintenance truck. No, it looks like an oversized load, actually. So this car is merging over. My guess needs to exit here. And instead of paying the penalty for not paying attention, they're going to cut in, cut everybody off here. Yep, that's exactly what they were trying to do. Yeah, if you're going to miss your exit, go up to the next one, turn around, pay your penalty for not paying attention. It's the Trucker 219 rule. Brake lights, brake lights. Something's going on. There was a car, no lights on in the middle of the road. Yeah, this is a catastrophe waiting to happen. I'm surprised there wasn't more cars already piled up. Yellow light, brakes, brakes, brakes. Yeah, this one's tough because obviously a car can stop quicker than a semi truck. It, it takes significantly longer. So if a car can stop and you're riding their tail like this guy was, then if they do need to stop, you're gonna be putting yourself in a bad spot. So don't be that close to drive. It looks like he hopped out out of this lane to start with. Yeah, this is why we create following distance. So if you ever see a semi truck leaving some space in between the vehicle in front of him, that's so he has enough room to stop were something to happen up, of, up in front of them. This guy did not leave enough stopping distance. All right, we got another late night drive. Oh, what is that? Something's in the middle of the road. Yeah, this is why it's a little bit more dangerous to drive at night. What is going on? <laughs> this guy says, no, I won't do 55 miles an hour. Take that. <laughs> All right. Slow traffic. Everybody's zipping around. Brake check, brake check. Yeah, everybody was trying to find an out. Unfortunately, the out was right into everybody else. All right. Four way stop. Going through, blinding light, can't even see. All right, we got a traffic back up in this lane. Now, nine times out of 10, what's gonna happen is either these cars right here are gonna jump out into this lane or jump out into this lane. This is one of these situations where if you see a common theme, well, this isn't what's gonna happen obviously now, but if you see a common theme, you should start trying to predict what's going to happen. But this guy just wasn't paying attention at all. So it's at a stop and he's rolling, ends up bumping this car. Just not paying attention is all that was. All right, so we're going through the cornfields or the, the haystack in the middle here. This, okay, so he is in the right traffic line. Oh, twisting, guardrail, boom. Is he going over? No, luckily it stayed up. Okay, we got a sideways video here. 
car slowing down bam yeah night drives are tough but this car had his lights on it looked like yeah definitely had its lights on you should be able to see what's going on slow down merge over if you don't have enough time to slow down oh oh my gosh you guys can barely see that in this video but this car just did like five flips in the median here you see the headlights Let's take that back now that you know what's going on. Maybe you can see it. Yeah, watch right here. One, two, three, four. This car rolled over four times. Hopefully he's all right. Yeah, good on these truckers. Um, and, and again, these, these guys, you know, myself included, but um, a lot of us will stop and make sure everybody's all right. Um, there's been a couple of situations, whether they're, it's people I've worked with, myself, have stopped. Anytime we've seen an accident, make sure everybody's all right and uh, get the authorities out there to handle a crash and, and traffic maneuvers and stuff to where they could reroute traffic or direct traffic around the situation. Um, but that's exactly what's happening here. This car over here ended up flipping, so this trucker's going to stop and this trucker's going to stop and they're going to jump out and run and make sure they're all right. And it's just the good humanly thing to do. Okay. Heavy, heavy snowfall. Going around a curve. Slipping and sliding. Uh, we got a jackknife coming. And now. Oh my goodness. You can't even see nothing. The snow done clouded it up. This this is the ground right here. And this is the, the visor lights on the semi truck. Look how close that is to the ground. He definitely got sideways very grainy video here what the heck is going on here what is that Ooh, it just gave me the chills it looks like eyeballs eyeball here eyeball here a mouth is this truck haunted oh my gosh ended up hitting a donkey yeah this face is creeping me out i'm not even gonna rewind that one back Okay, so there's rain on the windshield for something. Oh my gosh, the car completely cut that truck off. Again, if you're not going to make your turn, pay your penalty for not paying attention and go up to the next exit and turn around. All right, so we got some snow. Got a little sideways and slick. Slow down when it's snow time. When there's snow on the ground or rain on the ground, slow it down. Okay, another night drive seems to be a theme with this one. Okay, deer crossing the road. Yeah, this is pretty common at nighttime. Luckily, I haven't had the luxury of smacking a deer in the middle of the night. Um, but, yeah, it's kind of unavoidable. Nature's going to do what nature does. Okay, so a car was coming up on the side here. I'm not giving blind spot an excuse. There's a hood mirror right there. You should be able to see that. And again, this is an HOV lane, it looks like. Yep, high occupancy vehicle lane, which means a semi truck shouldn't be in it unless there's a, a stack of people inside. Yeah, I mean, realistically, a uh, HOV lane is high occupancy vehicle and you have to have two plus, so more than two or more people in the vehicle or motorcycles to be running in this lane. All right, what we got in this one? ABF trying to merge over. This truck seen that. They could have slowed down, but they didn't. Rude. But again, if you can't, if you don't have enough room to merge, don't merge. Okay, traffic's coming to a slowdown. People are merging onto the highway over here, trying to get in. Yeah, that was a pretty quick stop, but. Okay, we got some snow on the ground. If nothing else, ice. Yep, slick. There's no reason to be going that fast, especially when the roads are in that rough of condition. Slow it down. Look how windy it is, too. Okay, another drifty snow condition. You see the blowing across the road? Very dangerous stuff. Obviously, this truck's got his four ways on, so that means he's going nice and slow. Wind. Wind is even blowing him. 
Yeah, he's not driving that. My guess was that was 100% wind. Oh, man, another deer. Oh, my goodness. What a venison that was. Get it? Sin. Awful. Bad. What a bad thing that was. Dad jokes, folks. All right, we're turning only. Okay, there's no reason the semi truck needed to be over there. If you're making a right hand turn, you need to be as wide as you can. Same thing with the left hand turn. So we're looking at these lanes like this. Either way it goes, left or right, a semi truck should be on the widest side. So he has enough room to swing wide and turn. Same thing on the left lanes. If it's going the other way, he needs to be on the widest side. This is pretty common knowledge amongst truckers and I don't know why they're taking up He's jumping into this lane. Okay, rainy, wet conditions. We got a motorcycle in the back of this truck. Red light. They have a red light. You can see right here. This car's coming. Oh, luckily he avoided the T-bone on the car. Pay attention, folks. Red light means to stop. Green light means go. Yellow light means speed up. I'm just kidding. Slow down on a yellow light. Okay, four ways on. Okay, just because you have your four ways on doesn't give you the right to do whatever the heck you want to do. Oh my goodness, ended up T-boning him right on the driver's side too. Goodness gracious. Oh no, that was in uh, Knoxville. This is Maryville, Oak Ridge. This is Nashville, Chattanooga. They were in Knoxville. Okay, we're at late night drive, stuff in the road. Is that a whole pal? No, it looked like a chair. Yeah, be careful on these night drives, they'll get you, especially if there's stuff in the road like that. Hey, if you like that crash reaction and breakdown, you might like the rest of them here in this playlist. Click, 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 click. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, bye.